in a um, in a phase three um, comparative trial, um, we have um, tested the efficacy of uh, a new biosimilar for trastuzumab, ABP980, against the trastuzumab originator. Um, um, the endpoint was PCR um, in a neoadjuvant setting. Um, and um, as um, always in biosimilar studies, there was um, uh, um, a comparison of risk ratio um, um, and uh, a risk uh, difference. And um, regarding efficacy, both treatments um, were um, biosimilar, comparable. Um, which has in the end led to the approval of ABP980 in the US and in Europe um, uh, for root positive breast cancer in the new adjuvant setting, in the metastatic setting, and for um, her to positive metastatic gastric cancer. But all, always if you um, if you um, bring a new drug to the market, especially if it is not better than the comparative, but just the same or, or, or similar, a biosimilar. A very crucial point is safety. And this is why we did a thorough um, analysis on cardiac safety because cardiac um, toxicity is one of the main limiting toxicities of HER2 um, uh, directed angels, agents like trastuzumab, especially. Um, although um, due to um, uh, good monitoring, it has been reduced a lot in the past. It is still very important for practitioners to know um, if the biosimilar they're using is really has the same safety um, as the originator drug. Because, um, of course, we have quota for biosimilars in many countries. Um, where I work, we have to use at least 30% of biosimilars where they are, where they are um, biosimilars on the market. And it's very important to, that practitioners have confidence that what they're doing there is safe for the patients. And our cardiac toxicity analysis showed very rare events in the um, uh, lower single digit um, percent numbers at all, um, almost none of them clinically significant or clinically meaningful. And we could de uh, demonstrate in the in the LILAC uh, study, um, in this cardiac sub-study, that um, the cardiac safety of the um, biosimilar ABP980 and the originator trastuzumab are absolutely comparable. And we have no new safety signals by bringing a new agent on the biosimilar market.